Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. As you can see, I've got the Nintendo Switch Lite in turquoise or teal, whatever you want to call it. But today I want to show you something that I think everyone should know. One of the first things you want to do when you buy one of these devices is put a little screen protector on it because if you scratch the screen or damage it, then you basically, you'd either have to put it in for repairs, which is going to cost quite a lot of money, or buy a new one, which would cost you $200. I've made a video just like this two years ago for the original Nintendo Switch, but we're going to do the exact same process here on the Switch Lite since this has a different shape or rather a different size screen protector. So the things you're going to need are of course your Nintendo Switch Lite, you're going to need a screen protector like so, you're also going to need a microfiber cloth so you can give the screen a nice wipe, get rid of any dust before you put the screen protector on otherwise you'll get the dust caught underneath the screen protector. And last but not least you're going to need <coughs> Excuse me. And last but not least, you're going to need sellotape. Now, unfortunately, the sellotape that I used last year, or two years ago when I made the previous video, has already run out, and so I've got some different sellotape over here. We're going to use the sellotape to hold this in place. The first thing you want to do before you actually apply the screen protector is make sure that you've got any dirt off the screen. Now, this is an important stage that you don't want to do incorrectly because actually, while you're wiping it, it's very possible that if large dirt gets stuck underneath the cloth, you can actually rub the dirt into the screen and cause scratches before you've applied this. So make sure that you've got a nice clean cloth with no large pieces of dirt on it and then just give it a good wipe. And then we're going to put the screen protector, oh! We're gonna put the screen protector on like so. I actually didn't really want this one. I wanted one that was softer, but this was the only one they had at the shop. This is a hard glass screen protector, I think. So it's actually, it's actually a quite hard piece of glass. But just in case you've got, you've got a screen protector like this, that doesn't have an easy application process, we're going to use this tape method to make sure it's in exactly the right place. So, we're actually going to put it down first on the Nintendo Switch. Don't worry, we'll have another chance to clean it again before we finish this. I'm going to use my sellotape now to hold it in place. So this is just in case your screen protector doesn't come with any adhesive to do something similar. Take some sellotape off like so, and I'm just going to stick it to the top right about here. Stick that down, get another piece of tape, and I'm going to stick that here on the right side, like so. And drop the tape as well. Alright, that looks pretty much straight, exactly how I would like it, and now the reason that we've put this tape down is that when we lift this up, can you see there's no angle change by accident, because as I lift this up, I'll be able to peel this off and then just drop it straight down. It'll be perfectly aligned with the screen. Now let's, before we do this, we need to do one final thing, which is make sure the screen has no dirt on it. And the other thing is to make sure there's no dirt on the screen protector. Now this is an important step because actually if there's dirt on the screen protector, then when you drop it down or in the process of dropping it down, it could actually apply new dirt to the screen that wasn't there earlier. Let's just peel this off. Drop this down, there we go, perfect. And then you have it, in terms of placement, as you can see it's perfectly aligned, it's not fallen at a funny angle, it's not diagonal or anything, and we have our nice hard glass screen protector. Actually, you know, it's not too bad, I might just stay with this screen protector. At first I was like, oh, I don't like how it's kind of jutting out in terms of height from the original screen, but it's, it's not too bad. And if I turn on this screen, you can see, we're in perfect condition, able to play the games. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that great stuff. And essentially, it's just a very simple trick. You don't need to buy anything special, just make sure you've got sellotape. That's basically all you need. And make sure you've got a screen protect, uh, a microfiber cloth, just in case it doesn't come with one. Make sure you share this video with anyone who you think might find this useful, especially people who are buying screen protectors that don't have a very special, easy application process built into the screen protector in the way that it, sometimes this is split into three halves to make it easier to apply it without getting air bubbles and all that, but this seems to have worked just fine the way that we've done it. I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video.